Let's zoom out on this bad boy. Hello there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film a tutorial for you because I don't do many tutorials just because one, I find them really hard to film. Two, I kind of lack confidence in this area because I'm not a makeup artist. There are so many amazing makeup artists here on YouTube. But I thought I would do a makeup look for you guys anyway and hopefully you guys like it. Today I'm just going to be doing a really, really simple natural makeup tutorial, almost like a no makeup makeup look that is perfect for school or for university. It's very simple, I wear it all the time when I am having lazy days and can't be bothered to, you know, do eyeshadow and lashes and crazy bright lipstick. I hope you guys enjoy the video, sorry about my no makeup face. As you guys can see I do have a few breakouts on my skin at the moment and my mirror is over there, over there. So if I'm looking like that way a lot it's because I've got my mirror and I'm going to be doing my makeup for you. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you want to see how I do my makeup then just keep watching. So before I apply any makeup to my face, I'm going to be moisturizing my face because my skin is so dry at the moment. It is winter here in Australia and it's like cracking and dry and I have dry skin as it is anyway. But I'm going to be using my Cetaphil moisturizing cream for dry sensitive skin. And this will also ensure that my makeup lasts a little bit longer and it has a more dewy finish and that it doesn't crack on my face because if you have really dry skin and then you put like foundation or powder or conceal or whatever you're wearing on your face over it, it can look extremely cracked and just ruin the makeup look if your skin's really dry. So it's always good to moisturize before you put on your makeup. Oh, I dropped the lid and squirted on my pants. That sounded very inappropriate. So the first thing you are going to do is conceal any blemishes on your face and dark circles and any imperfections that you wanna hide. I'm going to be using this tubed concealer in the shade Light Beige by a brand called Coral Colors. But just use your everyday concealer, whatever works for you, and conceal any blemishes. You can use a brush or your fingers. I like to use my fingers when I apply concealer because it really helps heat up the product on my skin. I also like to put concealer on my eyelids. It creates like a base for any eye products that you use and it also gets rid of like purple veins that you may have on your eyelids. concealer is done and I am going to go in with a powder to set my concealer and also even out my skin tone. I personally don't wear foundation on a daily basis but if you do have very problematic skin then obviously you can use the foundation if that makes you feel more confident but I am just going to be using a powder today. My brother and his friend are making really inappropriate sounds to ruin my video. sound constipated okay that's enough now the powder I'm going to be using is a powder that I use every single day and you guys have probably heard me talk about it and that is the nude by nature mineral powder and I just use my nude by nature brush as well And it's also really important to make sure you work your product onto your neck because there is nothing worse than seeing that awkward line where the neck meets the jawline and they're completely different colors. So I just like to blend the product under my chin and down my neck. So usually on an everyday basis I will contour, highlight and put blush on my cheeks. I won't be contouring and highlighting today just because I want to keep this look as natural as possible. I probably will do like a brown smoky eye look or another more dressy sort of look where I will show you guys how I contour and highlight. Oh my god, I hate boys. But today I'm just going to be wearing some blush on my cheeks. This is one of my new blushes from MAC and it is in the shade Dainty. If you guys did see my last video, which was a haul, 
I showed you guys this product. So that is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty rosy pink color. And I'm going to be using a brush from Fearless Cosmetics and just putting a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. So that is everything you have to do to your face to achieve this look. Now let's move on to the eye makeup. You can wear absolutely nothing on your eyes for this. You can just use eyeliner and mascara and be good to go depending on how natural you want it. I'm going to be adding a really natural golden cream colored base but no powdered eyeshadow, just a creamy eyeshadow to give my eyes a little bit of pop. Before I do that I'm going to prime my eyes with the e.l.f. eyelid primer which I just picked up from Kmart. Let's zoom on in shall we? So I just put a little bit on each eyelid and I'm getting my ring finger again and just spreading it out, bringing it kind of into my crease. Now I'm going to be grabbing my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Bear Study. It's just a really, really pretty golden colour. And yet again, taking my ring finger and just spread this out over my entire eyelid. You can then go in with eyeshadow if you want to, but I'm going to keep this very, very simple for you guys today. Next, I'm moving on to eyeliner. Now, you can use a gel liner, a felt tip liner, a pencil liner, whatever works for you. I'm going to be using my all-time favorite liquid liner by Maybelline, and it is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. I am in love with this. It is the easiest eyeliner to use. So I'm just going to pull this out and line my top lashes with this. So next, I'm going to be grabbing my little eyelash curler. This is an optional step. I only just started curling my eyelashes like six months ago. And I'm just gonna curl these bad boys. Then all you wanna do is grab your favorite mascara. This is the mascara from Daiso that I told you about in my last video. Unfortunately, they don't sell this anymore, but you can use whatever eye eyeliner, whatever mascara you like. And now onto my bottom lashes. And that is my face and eyes done. Now I'm going to move on to lips because I have none. Again, I'm going to be keeping it super duper natural for my lips. I would recommend going with a nude or a baby pink or any color that is quite similar to your lip color could also work as well. So before I go in with a lipstick, I'm going to apply some lip balm to my lips. This is just the baby lips lip balm. This is just going to moisturize my lips so that my lipstick doesn't crack. This is an Inglot lipstick in the shade 118. Just gonna be putting a little bit of this on my lips. And that is the completed makeup look. Okay, so that was my everyday natural makeup look. This is what it looks like. It's very easy, very simple. Pretty much anyone could do it. It doesn't really require much experience or technique or anything. It's just a very simple look. I feel a little bit inexperienced when I do these because I'm just a girl who does my makeup in my bedroom. I don't have any like makeup qualifications. But if you guys did like it, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up so I feel a little less nervous about posting this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!